What's up, what's up, you guys, and welcome to another episode of X's and O's for Average Joes. I'm your host, Coach Gonzo, and today we're going over the fourth pick for the Miami Dolphins in the second round, seventh overall, Robert Hunt. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, guys, so we are back, man. Another episode of X's and O's for Average Joes. Um, we're going to go over Robert Hunt, same as we do with every breakdown that we've done so far. Let's go ahead and do some some uh, some measurables, right? So he was taken in the second round, seventh overall. Very versatile, this guy, to be honest with you. I believe he plays guard, tackle. Um, so that's, that's, that's a plus, all right? So let's get right into it. Let's dive into it, right? He's 6'5", 323 pounds. Now, I don't know about you, but that is a big guy. All right? So let's go over pros. Let's go over cons, right? So some pros. Big bulk, right? He's a bulky dude, but he's very athletic. He's an athletic guy. All right? Again, pros, cons. He plays guard. He plays tackle. I believe he'll make his way inside as a guard, but they might try him out at the tackle position. Um, I think we have a few clips of him actually playing tackle, so that makes a big deal. Uh, so you guys can see. Easy scoop block. This guy is reaching. He is turning people out real, real quick. All right? And he has great hands. He, he does have some great hands. Um, so some cons that we could go over uh, will definitely be his footwork. He has raw footwork. Still think he has a, a lot to get done there. Um, sometimes can be a little bit undisciplined as far as technique, not himself. I believe this man is very disciplined as, as a, as a person, as a human being. Uh, don't think he's had any real, uh, off the field issues on the field issues. So, uh, heels, his heels are too close. All right. On pass plays. Sometimes that can lead to some, some issues, some problems. Uh, he does lean over his toes. Therefore lunging. We'll see some of that. I believe in some of the clips, and uh, reactions to unexpected moves. So uh, if it's not a bull rush, it's it's something uh, different, cutting edge, something he's never seen before. He tends to have uh, not the best reactions to it, uh, which is normal. Uh, not everybody in college has great pass rush techniques. So you see some of the same consistent things, some bull rush, some spin moves, maybe some swims, uh, you know, some swipes. Uh, stuff like that. So, you know, when he does get against these elite pass rushers, he might have some unexpected issues. That's just, again, like I've told you guys before, things that you can see off NFL.com, ESPN. Just Google it, and you'll see a lot of these pros and cons. These are just some of the ones that I wanted to point out. Uh, as far as NFL comparison, they have compared him to Cody Ford. He is from Oklahoma, and he was selected in the second round of the NFL draft so, without further ado, let's get into this first clip. So, this first clip, um, what I want to go ahead and show you guys is, well, let's go ahead and spotlight. All right, big guy. He's up here. He's actually playing a tackle position. All right. So, let's go ahead and pull this through, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. There it is. All right. All right. So, let's go here. Let's go back. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and play that. Right there. All right. So let's bring out that drawing tool. This right here, he's lunging. Okay. Straight leg back. Nice knee bend here. Okay, that's kind of what he would look like. This helmet is driving. Okay. You don't want to see that. Okay, that's what we mean. That's what I said by leans over his toes, lunging. He does this sometimes. He's a very aggressive um, individual on the line, which that's what you want in the trenches. You want a, you want a big physical dude. But these are some of the things that get away from him. And you'll see it on this play. He, he, does, he doesn't whiff so much, but he does miss this block, right? Luckily, the play is away from him, so it's not a big deal. Okay. And I mean, it leads it leads to some issues, as you can see, you know, 
that's not what you want to see in that situation. All right, so let's go on to the next clip. All right, guys, so we're back at it with the next clip. Let's go ahead and hide out our boy. He's actually at tackle again right here. All right, we're going to just play this. And what I want to show you guys here is the great power and what I see in this guy. I love it. I love, love, love um, this selection. Back. Boom. He stands this guy up. Hands inside where I want them. Inside of those shoulder pads. And he is popping them up. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's go back to it. Let me see if I can show you the initial pop. Sometimes these are hard to pause. Okay, so here, here's where you want to see that that head, not head down. All right, let's let's get something straight. We never want to look down. You can never hit what you can't see. That's always what I was told, uh, young ones. If you're listening to this, make sure you keep your heads up all right that avoids injuries okay and and it allows you to be able to hit what you want to hit if you're looking down it leads to bad things one missed blocks tackles and injuries so remember that he has his head right in his well it's helmet to helmet but in his chest is what i like to say all right hits him pops him up and drives him that's just what i like boom 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 and it's a positive play, guys. There's nothing wrong here. There's nothing to say other than great job by Hunt in making this block. All right, next clip. All right, guys, so we're on this next play. He's right here at the edge. All right, what I want to show you here is why lunging gets you in trouble. All right, it's real simple. There's really not much to see here other than, than a poor block. Whoop. That's it. He is down. Down for the count. All right, let's go here. All right, so what I want to point out here, right? These feet. Wow, can we point them out a little better, guys? All right, these feet right here. All right, they're a little close to each other. It's not what you want to see, right? And he lunges. He gets a great swim move by the defender. And, uh, yep. That's all she wrote. Tim Burr. You know what I'm saying? He fell. He whiffed. Luckily for him, the play was away. Um, and they still got a good uh, gain off of that. But, again, you always want to block this backside. If you don't block backside, there's a lot of time in the pros where backside players make the play. Because of their speed, their athleticism, they're able to break to the ball and make disruptions in the backfield. So very important is to make sure you're blocking backside. Sometimes, um, and this goes out to anybody who's playing peewee, high school, um, make sure you're blocking backside, guys. Sometimes in in, middle, in peewees and high school, you think, all right, the play's going away from me. I don't have to make this play. I can chuck them. I can touch them a little bit, and I'll do my job. Incorrect, guys. If you don't block backside, you can allow that player to make a play. You never know who's on the other side of you, all right? Usually in peewee and, and in high school, not everybody's doing um, a lot of the research to understand who's in front of them. There's a lot of guys that go unrecognized, and they can make those plays. So, again, just make sure that you're blocking backside and you're doing it correctly. That's just a pointer. Off topic, next play. All right, guys. Back at it. Here we go. Spotlight. Boom. There's our guy. Big Hunt. Number 5-0. All right. So we're going to go ahead and play this. Again, this is just hands inside. Good footwork. Pop. He turns. He turns. So he has that hand on that backside, which he wants to be careful with because, again, that could be a hold if that defender does any, any movements. But, again, he was sound. Good footwork. He, he, he had him. He had him the whole way through, and, and there's really just nothing much to say there other than good job. Um, again, we can go back to it. Boom. Quick quick steps, quick steps, quick steps, and he's there. I would like to see more of a, of a hold, right? I don't want him being pushed back so much, but overall, he held his man, so that's, that's what's important. All right, guys, next clip. All right, guys, we are back. Let's spotlight our guy right here, number 50, Hunt. 
All right. So basically what I want to see here, what I want to show you guys is his athleticism and his speed as a big guy. Um, let's go ahead and play this. Boom. That's it. He got out there. That's all you need to know. He got out there. Look how far out this is. All right. You're talking this cornerback right here is coming up, up the field. He's going to go ahead and wall him off this way. All right. And he does so magically. Here we go. That's it. He's out of the play. That's a big block. That's a big block whether you think it, it is or isn't. He went outside, right? Normally, somebody in that position would maybe go upfield, right? And just think that this guy was way off the play. He's not going to make it. But he did his job. He turned, made sure he chucked him. And again, it allowed for a positive yardage. Great play. Nothing really to say here. Um, he did a good job. Again, we'll go back to it. Six. Great job. Great play. Next clip. All right, guys. So we are back. Here's our guy at the end of the line. And again, this is what I want to show you guys is his physicalness right here. All right. We're going to play this and he's just going to pancake this guy. Whoop, down you go. Yep. There it is. Yep. Right there. Yep. You see this? That's what I like to see. All right. Let's drive you to the ground and then let's just lay on you. Right. Let's catch a tan. That was great. Great aggressiveness. Great way to wall him down. And it is what it is, man. Great play. Great aggressiveness. And, and nothing bad to say on that play. All right, guys. We're back. Here we go. Here's the next play. There's our guy. All right. And this, again, he's just a mauler. That's all he is. He's, he's just aggressive. And it is what it is. Here we go. Boom, big pop, and let's drive. Let's drive. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see all day, every day, is the pop and the aggressiveness. Okay, look at these hands. This, this. Look at these hands. These hands are where they need to be inside, inside the shoulder pads, right? Right under the armpits. That's where you want to be. Get that pop, all right? Get that pop. And then just keep working. Boom. Stay in front of him. Keep working. Don't let him make the play. Guys, I really like Robert Hunt. I believe this is a steal in the second round. Um, definitely, 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 I believe that with a little bit more work, again, a Pro Bowl guard or a Pro Bowl tackle, this kid is going to be something to see. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. What's up, what's up, you guys? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of X's and O's for Average Joe's, your host, Coach Gonzo. As always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, you guys hit that like button, and make sure that you guys leave any and all comments and feedback down below. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys next time on X's and O's for Average Joe's.